first and foremost, I'm an, I'm an events organizer. So we had figured out exactly what we wanted. Six months to our wedding, she had all her dresses. We identified a location. It was... Um, Royal Nairobi Golf Club. Yeah, off Ngong Road. And we liked it because our guest list was hitting... 500. No, initially it was 2,000. But thanks had, to him. Thanks to me. <laughs> it's so interesting. Her guest list was... 100? Uh, 250, around there. Hers was 250. Mine was hitting 1,750. He's Good. a people person. I'm a people's person. <laughs> So up to today, there are guys who have never forgiven us, Bado to Naomba Msama, for not uh, probably inviting me. Being an event organizer, what I did, I called a supplier's meeting. After we had planned everything in our heads, sketched everything, we called a supplier's meeting a month to, at 4 p.m. at the venue. And I told them, the meeting will be 15 minutes. You can't believe it. We prayed for two minutes held a meeting for 13 minutes and, and finished. And we told each other, let's meet at the venue to set up. And that's did, what happened. That's what, we didn't have those committee meetings and all yeah. those things that happened. Yes, we didn't. But we got a lot of support yes. from our friends. From our friends, yeah. In the industry. Yeah. And then in the lineup now, there was a drama, a lot of drama, in, in the sense that our lineup started with eight people which ended up at 28. Because all our nieces, our nephews, they all wanted to be on the lineup, mm. And his friends mostly. Yes. They didn't even tell him. They were asking me where the shop is. They go, the take go. measurements. The only the day he noticed uh, was when we were doing rehearsals. Yes. His friends were on the lineup. They refused to MC. And yeah. specifically, I'm pointing out at Jalango and DNG. They refused to MC. They decided <laughs> they were going to be on the lineup. Yeah. So that's what happened. So I had to really plead with Big Ted because Big Ted now was our MC. Him being pressure number one, and Big Ted, thank you for pressuring us. He used to say, Niko na gunia ya mchele. Na nani atatoa kaskari kachai. Muane. Because we are strict on time, I told him, by our wedding, we'll start at 10 sharp and it will end at 11. Mm -hmm. The yeah. church ceremony. The church ceremony. Yeah. Guys thought we were joking. <laughs> Shock. I was at the venue at 8. Her and her bridal party were at the venue at 8.30. And this is something I want to tell couples that are going to get married. You do not invite people to your wedding, then they are waiting for you. You are the one inviting them. Why are we waiting for you? So as we flipped the script. Like in the morning, uh, I had some of my maids were coming in the, in the morning where I was being picked from. Some didn't spend there, so some got late. Then they were being done for their makeup at the same place. Since they came late, that's why, like you said, I had to start walking out because they were late. Their makeup was not ready, their hair was not ready, but hey, the day has to begin. So some left without their makeup done, hair done because we had to be ahead of time, not keep time ahead of time. Then uh, when we go to church, all my expectations were met. The setup actually, it was more, it was more than I'd expected. They surprised us. They really, because the, the whole dome was carpeted. I never Great. expected that. Yeah. There were a lot of sur good surprises. I can't say I was disappointed because even the team we had, are people we were working with, so they knew the way we work, they knew our ex expectations, so they superseded. It was a beautiful day. We were in Indian outfits, thanks to me. I like decent outfits, so. No, she likes Indian. Decent Indian. And I'm, t I'm always <laughs> taken to Diamond Plaza to eat Indian food. Uh, yeah, so. We, in church, we were in, in a gown. It was in a tuxedo, it was in a gown. But now when we went for our photo shoot, we did, of course, photos with the gown and the tuxedo, but now switched. When we came back, we looked like our bridal full, party. Full, full Indian. So we then did a photo shoot at Wilson Airport. But I kept telling her I needed to achieve a photo shoot that is different, we can, as you can see in the images that are showing right now.
So our first honeymoon was in Mombasa, Amanitiwi. Since we have so many, maybe a few people we haven't sorted. Yes. In terms, terms of, of payment. payment. So there's, uh, there's the, I have my preference of who we need to sort first. Yes, is is list set of who he needs to sort first in terms of payment. So now on the way we were arguing <laughs> who to pay first. What I part the car. And got mad, <laughs> wanted to walk to Bombasa. <laughs> It, it was funny, by the it's way. It's quite um, funny. You argue over something very small. And it was small. It, when we look back to it, we actually laugh. And uh, again, that's something we are telling couples. Please do try not to unleash on each other, because we did. And I was so pissed with that, by the way. I think I drove to Mombasa. <laughs> yeah. Then there's this thing over. I spent too much money in this wedding. Then she's talking to me about some small bills. You know, those are things going on in my mind, you know. And the truth is, it happens to a lot of couples, I'm sure. So, should it happen to you, please do not end it. It's just a process that every other couple goes through. It, it, it's not, um, and it shouldn't happen. We can just say, it's easy, you'll still pay your people. And you as a lady don't insist so much, you as a guy don't insist so much. Yeah. And then whatever doesn't happen on the wedding day, like you had planned, just forget about it. Don't discuss. The day is over. Mm. Enjoy your honeymoon. Nobody really cares. You're beginning cares. a life together, so. Yeah, nobody really cares. Mm.